At Universal Audio, we had to ask ourselves a very serious question. How do we take a product that people love and just make it better across the board? So we really took a look at the major things that make Apollo great. The A to D conversion, the classic analog sound in the box that you get this great sound with, either when you're tracking or mixing, and also thought about the way that people plug in and out and just made it so that different models of Apollo really have something for everybody. And that's what the next generation of Apollo really delivers. So Universal Audio always had a great reputation in the analog world, remaking the classic 1176, LA-2A, the 610 products. And they were also building a reputation to make plugins. The UAD-1, the original UAD product, and now the UAD-2 have really built a reputation of bringing that classic analog sound into the studio, but not needing all that outboard gear. It's a really huge benefit. In 2012, it was the first time that the two sides of the company had really come together into one product. Apollo, for the first time, married high-end analog with high-end digital. And that's really been a big revolution in our industry. You know, we really haven't seen anything like this before or since. We've been constantly updating Apollo, adding new software features and plugins as we go. And it's really what differentiates Apollo. It's really a platform, not just an interface. Real-time UAD processing is really the heart of Apollo, and it runs the full library of UAD-powered plugins, including those from Studer, Neve, Lexicon, Marshall, API, and so many more. And what it really allows you to do is track through all of our plugins in real time with no latency. The next generation of Apollos have completely redesigned conversion. Every input, every output has been updated to sound even better. It didn't just start with a new converter chip. It really had to do with the analog circuitry and what we put around that converter that makes it sound incredible. And we're really happy that we achieved best in class A to D, D to A dynamic range and THD plus noise. We introduced this great technology last year called Unison Technology. And it was the first time that anyone had ever done real mic preamp emulation inside of an interface. What's really cool about it is you could record drums through a classic Neve console, a classic UA610 console, or an API console, and get that great sound right on the front end, right to disk. Unison technology has been expanded to include classic guitar processing. So you can actually plug right into the front of your next generation Apollo or Apollo Twin and get this amazing guitar sound. The Apollo 8 is the first model in the line, and the Apollo 8 has that classic Apollo configuration. It's got four mic pre's, eight line inputs and outputs, monitor outputs, it's got two headphones, it's got ADAT and SPDIF. It connects via Thunderbolt 2 to any modern Macintosh, and you're just gonna get great sound right out of the box. For the people that wanted to actually track drums, the original Apollo only had the four mic pre's, and people really asked us, can you please give us an Apollo model that has eight mic pre's, and that's what the Apollo 8P does. There's tons of new enhancements on the front panel. You know, we really went in and made sure that all of the buttons and LEDs were just really crisp and easy to read, even in dim studio environments. But the big enhancements have really come on the monitoring side. So there's new dedicated buttons that allow you to control alt speakers. And then there's also an assignable button that lets you assign alt to, dim, or mono. So the Apollo 8 models are really cool because they've got so many different features. Now for the higher end customer who's just interested in the great sounding conversion and the real-time UAD processing capabilities of Apollo, the Apollo 16 is our flagship converter and has 16 channels of A to D and D to A conversion built in. What's really great about it is that if you've got traditional analog gear like a mixing console or a summing mixer or just a rack of outboard gear, you can integrate it exactly how you'd want to. One of the biggest challenges that we faced when we were putting all these different Apollo models together was you should be able to combine them however you want. And that's what Apollo Expanded really delivered. With this simple software, you just connect all of your interfaces via Thunderbolt 2 or Thunderbolt 1, and you're gonna be able to aggregate and build this power on demand studio. The idea that you can take any interface and then decide that you need more mic preamps, more conversion, maybe you need more headphone amps, maybe you need more DIs, and one of the great things about the next generation of Apollos is they're completely compatible with the previous generation of Apollos via Thunderbolt. The Apollo Twin is definitely a part of the story here as well. The great thing about Apollo Twin is that you can have it right on your desktop, right near you at the mix position, but it can actually control up to three other rack mount Apollos. It's the perfect way to grow your Apollo system with your studio projects so you can record full scale productions. Today, Apollo is used worldwide by all sorts of artists, you know, people in their bedrooms, all the way up to the biggest studios. And we found that Apollos have been used to make songs that everybody loves. And it's really cool to see that happen. Mm -hmm.